What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today we are reacting to 17 year old bad baby calls out her mom slash managers for controlling her money. She only gets a $500 a week allowance, which is not shit because baby, if you got bills to pay, $500, I mean, it adds up if you save, but if you, in, if you was in a position like her, you don't... <laughs> You you not you know what I'm saying? You make millions, bro. You making money. Five hundred dollars a week. And especially if you made all that money and your family just keeping it from you. I don't I don't agree with that shit. But hey, to each his own. But let's get right into this video in three, two, one, bow. Get that. Like people are in my DMs telling minutes. me, Oh, you should just just stop working then, just stop being famous. Do you think that's how it works? Do you think that you just, oh, you decide, just oh, I don't want to be famous anymore and just go hide? Like, no. <laughs> people are still going to see me. People are still going to bother me. I still have to make enough money to have security every day. Like, people don't understand that type of shit. Like, like listen, people, people really don't understand the situation I'm in. My managers are not like regular managers. They think they could little girl me and tell me how I'm going to act and what I'm going to do because they've known me since I was really young. So they feel like, because they, they've already overstepped that boundary, so they feel mm. like they could just do whatever they want to do now. Same thing with my mother, which boundary. obviously I get it. She's going to do that. She's a mom. But my mom does the pettiest shit to the point where she'll cut off my credit card for me spending $5 in the gas station. It's not about the money. Even if there was seven thousand million dollars whatever the fuck you could think of the biggest number ever my mom would still try to give me a fucking five hundred dollar a week allowance like it's all about power with her my mom wants things to be normal so so bad but if she wants things to be normal then she needs to put me back in school and get a job and start taking care of shit her damn self like a real parent because oh, what the fuck am i supposed okay. to do? you want me to sit up and work all day and, and be up all hours of the night and do See, I understand that on a real level because I know there's some people out there who got parents. As soon as you walk in the house, you got paid. That direct deposit hit. Oh, so how much money you got on this? Can I get this? Can I woo? Can I woo? People coming out the woodworks. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, hey, can I get $50 to last? Can I get $70 to last? Can I get $100 to last? I'll pay you back. And nine times out of ten, then people never pay you back. But, of course, you got too much pride to ask for the shit back. You like, nigga, fuck it. Just keep that shit. Fuck you. Don't ask me for nothing else. whoop dee whoop and you can't expect a normal life if you who you are if you if you are who you are you can't expect a normal life bro you can't expect a normal life if you're her chris brown future fucking any youtuber fucking pretty boy fredo ddg clarence queen naja you can't expect them to be normal because they're past that we're past that if you want to be normal, let's just duck off onto like to another country where it's really not a lot of people or another state where it's really not a lot of people or a city within a state where it's not a lot of people and vibe. You feel me? But doing all this extra stuff, bro, no, ma'am. And there's no way she can even get her money. It's like you can't sue. You can't do you 17. You feel me? All types of shit. Normal kids aren't I mean, you could do, sue, but, but then you want you a little kid and tell me I'm only gonna get this much money and I can only do this during the day and I can't have friends over. Like, but my mom don't pay no type of bills at all. But all, all, all the time wants to tell me, and I hate oh that. no, this the house we're getting. Because they feel oh, like they your mama. This they your parent. Doing. No, that's not how it goes. I'm 17. I'm not 13 anymore. My mom won't even let me get a two-bedroom apartment for myself. Wow. Like, there there literally was just $50,000 sent to my account today. I asked my mom to pay off my credit card. She told me, no, there's no money. Like, what the fuck have I been working four years for, for four or five years for, making myself look like an idiot to the point where I can't even get a real job if I wanted to? Now I got all these tattoos, I got all this bullshit behind my name. I can't sit down and get no real fucking job. Girl, you better go get a but new I'm manager or something. But I'm supposed in this industry shit and stay getting the get news a new by agent, everybody somebody. around. People they, don't understand that because, because I'm a minor, my mother has control over my money until I am 18. If my mother wants to walk into my money manager's office and take all of my fucking money out, she can do that. She is the parent. I am not. I have no control. That's how fucked up this fucking... First of all, you do have control because it's your money. You make that. You feel me? You make that. 
you make that. That's why you're supposed to have a great, strong team that knows. Trust and believe. There's so many people. I highly doubt JoJo is going through this. I highly doubt the homie, I don't even know, a little kid or somebody young out here doing YouTube, whatever, and they making money. I promise you their parents not doing that, bro. That's just that toxic shit. That's just that toxic shit. Please just get you a strong team, a strong lawyer. People will know who you are. And, and if they guarantee that you will win this case, bro, because they know that that's wrong, and they put out valid points, valid evidence, booty, booty, scoop. But, baby, if you sign something, I can't. You can't do nothing. If you sign something, I can't say nothing. I can't. You can't do nothing. But if you didn't, please go find somebody. Explain your story. I'm pretty sure somebody can and will help you for real. Country is that shit sick. like that is allowed to happen. Now, thank God my managers have a little more common sense and my money managers would would call the police or something if she did try to do that but still by law if if they was that fucked up enough to let her do to let her do that she could do that like now how am i supposed to feel who the fuck wants to wake up and post on instagram and wake up and post on snapchat and wake up and make youtube videos and wake up and make music when you're basically doing it for no reason because all of it no can be reason. taken away from you tomorrow my mom, like I said, as my parent, me not being 18, until March 26, 2021, my mom can call a fucking rehab facility or call a fucking program and say, my daughter has mental issues. I want her put away till she's 18. My mother can then take all my money, put me away till I'm 18, and I can come out to being literally nothing. I can come out to being on my ass. That's how fucked up this fucking way of shit or these rules or however the fuck you put it. Like I said, when you first come out, bro, please. When you first, like, get a lick of money, save your stuff. Put it away, bro. Don't put all your stuff in accounts. You got to be smart. You got to move smart. Because it's a lot of people out here who are like that. I know people who get their money deposited into their account. And people got their info. So they know when they get paid. So they know they going to run up a little something. And they know you're not going to say shit. You feel me? But my thing is, bro, say something. Please say something. It don't matter that you 17, bro. It does not matter that you 17, bro. People think that. But once you get older, you could be like, damn, I really could have just left. I really could have just did my own sh You feel me? But y'all, you got to just be smart about certain things. You got to move certain ways because people will take advantage of you. Family will, your managers will, but like she said, she they already stepped over that boundary, bro, because you let them. Don't let nobody overstep. That's why you're supposed to have strong. When you come from nothing, bro, and they throw anything at you, you're going to believe it, bro, because you don't have that that business mentality. We, we ain't grow up like that. We didn't grow up with a business mentality. You know what I'm saying? Black people, hey, we growing up how to survive. We not growing up to... To invest in, what is that? When I'm a kid, I don't know what that is. Well, I know what it is now, obviously. But I'm saying back then, I didn't know what that was. They don't teach you that shit in school. Please, man, get yourself together. Do not end up on some, cause it's a lot of people like this, bro. And it don't matter if they making five hundred a week to two thousand a week to three thousand a week to ten thousand a week. People. Child support, baby mamas, kids, bills, food, just the cost of living, period. So please, man, get it together, y'all. But if y'all enjoyed that video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Catch me in my next video. Peace out.